Good afternoon, His Excellency, Honorable Judges, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today, I'm very delighted to be able to present you one very controversial topic, which is, should we let juveniles be treated the same as adults in the criminal court? First of all, what is the difference between juveniles and adults? Juveniles refers to the young adults who are under the age of 18, the ones who can't drink, the ones who's, who can't drive, and the ones who can't vote, the ones who do things um, unless they have their parents' permission or they have their parental guidance. While as adults, well, they can do everything that the juvenile can't. And the thing that between them is that in court, how they are di treated differently is that um, juveniles, they serve their sentence when they're 18, while as adults, they serve their, ten their sentence when the judge gives, gives them his rulings. For example, like if they're at the age of 21 and the judge says um, his, de his decision is that he has to go to prison, then at that time, he has to go. So ladies and gentlemen, I stand here before you to present my utmost disagreement that we should not treat juveniles and adults the same in the criminal court for two main reasons. First of all, because of their responsibility, and second, because of the emotions that they can handle. First, the responsibility. Juveniles and adults have age difference. Their age gap is very noticeable. So when with your age difference, you have the capacity, although the age is a number, it's also an indicator of the, how, how the capacity of your minds are, how deep you can think, how responsible you can behave, and how trustful you can be. And with this age difference, they have different responsibilities in different ages. For juveniles, they are responsible to receive proper and basic education. While as adults, they have the choice to continue, edu to continue their education or choose to be employed. For example, if we were given to serve these group of, both group of people the same kind of sentence for vandalism. Um, usually um, the punishment for vandalism is to, um, uh, is to serve community services. But um, for juveniles and for adults, they would have different responsibilities. We cannot give them the same punishment. Juveniles would have to serve community service, but in their schools. They, should, they can volunteer in their schools, help out in their schools because of um, the vandalism that they've done. But for adults, they should, be, they should um, do also volunteer in community service, but outside of the school where they're not allowed in anymore. Second, Juveniles and adults should not be treated the same because of the emotions that they can handle. Emotionally, when, are you, when, you, when you are young, you cannot handle the stress that people give to you. Um, it is stated that many, many young adults commit suicide because of this depression when they are in the age of 16 to 18. Um, the other age group that experience depression um, they can handle these emotions, and in court, juveniles can handle the stress like how adults can. Therefore, we sh should not treat um, these, group, these two different groups of people the same way. In conclusion, I would like to state that we cannot treat this, these same group of people the same way for their two main reasons, because of their responsibility, and because of their emotions. And if we were to treat them the same way, we would um, see many disastrous effects, such as the high rates of suicide committed. And also, 
we should not consider whether we should treat these two of people the same or not. We should consider trying to get them not to go into the court in the first place. We should try to help to find them to help them find a way. Thank you. The person convicted of a crime is a juvenile to serve time in prison. I'm sorry, but can you repeat your question again? Sure. Do you think it's ever appropriate for a juvenile to serve time in prison? Yes, I think um, according, but only to the extent of the crime that committed. For example, if you are a juvenile, you're underage, but you committed something very terrible, like you involved in an act of terrorism, which is um, very uh, offensive to all human rights. Therefore, you cannot, uh, I think it's very appropriate, appropriate for them to go to prison. Although it's just their age, but the capacity of how they think, they can do more destructions than the adults can. Thank you. Oh, do you think that parents should be responsible for the crime that their kids, like, as a journal, commit? Why and why not? Thank you for your question. I don't think that the parents should be responsible for the crimes that the children commit unless the parents are involved in the crime that they commit, unless they are the ones who gave the order for the children to commit those crimes. But if they were not involved, if they didn't give that order, um, they should um, give support to the children so that the, the children could turn themselves into better persons. But if they didn't, then they shouldn't be responsible in any part of it. They should acknowledge the crime that their children commit and try to turn them back into good people. Thank you.